What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Criminal Minds. This is going to be Season 2, Episode 2. Let's get into it, shall we? Ew! His name's Jack. He's a soldier, and he protects me. I didn't mean to get you mad. Please, I'll be a good boy. Please let me out. Oh! Joe from the Vampire Diaries? Peter. <sighs> Katie, I think Peter's back. Peter, are you sure? I just got a new image. The screen name of the sender is Hugs. He just uploaded this to me. New image, same boy. Time and date stamped an hour ago. Well, I'm in a chat room. I was just fishing. Carl, I need to know where this chat room originated. We have a boy we named Peter a year ago. Instant message Hugs, VN-HO. Very nice. How old? Very. Go to the site. That's an auction clock. He's gonna sell Peter. Give me Aaron Hotchner at the BAU. Ew, wah! 40,000 images of child porn are posted every week on the internet. Many of these children have been kidnapped and sold into pedophile rings. One year ago, the same boy appeared on several websites used by pedophiles. He was a new face then. After a massive hunt, the boy disappeared. Until tonight, when SSA Cole telephoned us. Katie Cole? She runs the Crimes Against Children Unit in Maryland. I always wanted to meet her. I heard she's a bitch. Nobody oh. ever called you that? Oh, not to my face. The first time I ever saw him, he appeared in a series of photos. I named him Peter. Now he's being auctioned off when that clock runs to zero. OK, Spencer, I see you with the hair pushed pixelated. back. What about the site itself? Can't we just track its origin? Peter would be gone by the time we finish the paperwork. You have Garcia. Yeah, get on that way. So what happened a year ago, Katie? We cross-referenced the images of the boy. We narrowed the location down to the eastern United States. Where's the we parents? some suspect the trail went cold. How is this time going to be any different? We have a starting point. The location where the image was first discovered. A chat room hosted by an independent web company in Cleveland, Ohio. And this time, I'm bringing you all in with me. It's disgusting. Theologian Dietrich Bonhoeffer said, the test of the morality of a society, what it does for its children. Well, got a haircut. Probably because they filmed that last episode. Well, if it isn't Dr. Reed. At Hell. the same time. Oh. Right? Nice haircut. Thanks. I like your haircut, too. Is that a boy's regular? Yeah, it is. Do you, li you not like it? It's totally you. You're, uh, okay? I didn't think you were back till next week. I got a text message, so... Then it was a mistake. Is there a case? Not until you're healthy. Yesterday, I found myself looking forward to watching a soap opera. Which one? Can you put me back to work, Hotch? You need more time. I've been out for four months. What I need is to go back to work. We're going to Cleveland. Reed's going to the Crimes Against Children Division. Go with him. But I can... Or go home. Oh, OK. I'm all yours, Dr. Reed. The image was uploaded to one of our CAC undercovers fishing in a chat room. If you run forensic linguistics on the chat log, there might be something to hug speech patterns. Fear of flying. Sit down. Linked to deep-rooted issues of control. Think better on my feet. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> Most of the talk is abbreviated text, LOL, FTF. Face to face. Right. Pedophiles can be divided into two categories. Sit down. Situational and preferential. Situational offenders rarely seek out children. Preferential offenders actively target children by age group, hair color. They'll seek out jobs which give them as much access to children as possible. Or they'll simply use a coffee shop with wireless access to find, locate, and arrange a meeting. It's, it's growing as fast as the internet. They're getting smarter and smarter, and all the security in the world can't stop them. Hell, the monsters are already in our homes. If he's had this kid for a year, it makes him preferential. Definitely. So then why is he selling? Maybe he's losing interest. Peter's maybe getting too old. Preferential offenders are very specific about their preferences. And if he can't sell him? He isn't going to just let him go. Hotch, shouldn't we release Peter's picture to the media? No. If this unsub thinks that we're on to him, he may make a run for it and dispose of the boy. Shouldn't we assume he does know? As I said, we intercepted this image as part of an undercover operation. The way they run these sites gives them the expectation of anonymity. Have Reed and Elle check the live feed. Not just the boy, but everything around him. See if we missed anything. You're the agent who had contact with the image of Peter. This time, a year ago, it was Katie who first identified him. Call her Katie? She hates to be called Agent Cole. We just got your warrants approved. Katie and your team are about to pay a visit to the chat room vendor. Yeah, we've been having problems with it. One of our main online listing sites is down, but uh, we should FBI, be FBI, we have a warrant to search these premises. Stop what you're doing right now. Can somebody tell me who owns this place? That'd be me. I want access to your chat room databases. Busted! 
did. Reaper. It looks like the walls are padded. And the dimensions are strange. Katie just got us access to the original chat room's database. It's coming through now. There'd be thousands of screen names there. All encrypted. Yeah, but we're only concerned about one. Hugs. This is so typical. You feds just can't help yourselves. You gotta pollute the truest form of free expression ever invented. Agent Morgan, find a chat room of your choice. Your name is Susie, you're 12 years old. You know, I've got rights, and so do my clients. That's the sound of pedophiles looking to hook up with a 12-year-old girl. They let them run everything through SSL connections from proxy servers in offshore countries. Hey, I'm just a middleman here, okay? What can I do? There's a little boy for sale on one of your sites. What can I do just isn't good enough. Cole was right. Hugs ratted through an offshore proxy. So we have no way of <sighs> tracking him? Not if you only track him with his address. He used a basic encryption program to hide his payment method. I'm anything but basic. Gotta love the money trail of credit card leaves. Oh, well, well, Graham Rose, 15 Hauser Lane, Richmond, Virginia. Use the same card to pay for a web domain. Oh my God. Oh. Gideon, we just found another child being held. Ah! I hate people. FBI! You're a bad boy. You needed to be tied up, didn't you? Let me see you struggle. Push through. Clear. Clear here. Hey, I see your bum. FBI! FBI! What are you doing? Where is it? Where's who? Clear. It's okay, you're safe now. Safe? What's your name? Kevin. The man who did this to you, is he still here? It's my house. Graham Rose is the owner of this house. Where is he? No, no, don't touch that. Where is he? He's gone. What do you mean gone? He's just gone, okay? Graham Rose is your father? You could call him that. I just call him a bastard. Are you scared? Do you think he's mad at us? He's in that ha same house. His father's been in jail for the last eight months. Kevin's been selling the only thing he's got. Just like a street hustler. Only now the street is the internet. And his client base spans the globe. Did he say how he got hold of the video? He said it came from one of his clients. It was a shared file. They'd gone around these chat groups. Buyers and sellers routinely trade files because the act in itself is an illegal act, which proves they're not the police. Let's go see what else we can find out. The boy whose video you've been sending around to all the chat rooms, he's going to be sold from one pedophile to another. Boo. Ew. These are dummy logs. What's the password to get me into the real transcripts of your sessions? You're the FBI. You figure it out. Come on, Kevin. What's the password? Your birthday? Favorite band? This is prostitution. Well, I'm a minor. I don't even really know what I'm doing. Plus, I never leave this room. No one ever touches me. Anymore. Father's been beating you since you can remember. First it was when he was drunk on the weekend, and he was always drunk. Never knew why I was hurting you. Why I was so angry. At night, you'd cry yourself to sleep, hoping someone would come and save you. No one ever came. You have a chance to be the one who saves someone, Kevin. The one who stops his pain. You can't get to your father and get to I the guy I think he's the one that's boy. holding the kid somewhere. Move. This backs up all my transcripts. The screen name for the guy who sent me the file is Matt Abbas. Can you hear me? Can I get out anytime soon, please? Uh. He's got food and water. He never has to leave the room. It's not a room. The unsub's anticipating becoming a suspect. If there are no doors, how did he get the boy in the room? It's like a ship in a bottle. He's built the room around the boy. How long has Metavos been a client of yours? Six months. He's a local. He was always asking to meet with me, but I don't do that. How do you contact him? When he contacts me. Come on, Kevin. You don't just sit around here waiting for these guys to look you up. Right now, you're the only person who can help us find Peter. What do you want me to do? Ask him for a face-to-face. -face. No way, I, I don't do that. He won't lay a finger on you. We'll be right there, Kevin, the whole time. I promise you. Won't he be suspicious if I suddenly want to meet with him? If you offer to meet with him, he won't be able to resist. Can't help himself. You said that he first appeared a year ago, right? But he was in a normal room. The pictures didn't look like that. So something changed. Hey, guys. What is it? I'm not quite sure. Someone's telling him to do what he's doing. A bitter must want to see him wearing... Wait a minute. That's a tadpole shirt. It's a tadpole shirt. It's a, a wilderness group, but not tying, compass wielding, boy stuff. My four brothers, JJ, they all had that shirt. Is that numbers on his sleeve? Enhance it? Wait, ca capture that image when he turns. See the badge is torn. It's like four mm -hmm. numbers. What is that? Three, uh, something, something. Is that a six? That's a unit number for 999 possible combinations. Oh, but a unit number would be registered, right? You're already on it, kitten. Of course you are. They're heading to Alexandria. They want us to look up this address and tell them what's there. Plow right. Alexandria. That location, it's right outside of an elementary school. We could be there in 30 minutes. You're not allowed to go anywhere. Don't even try it, Reed. He's a fucking teacher. 
Don't you love that sound? Excuse me? Children. Metavos? You seem nervous. Yeah. You are Metavos, right? The friends call me Hayden. Hey, you're you're a tolerant person. What's the matter? Did I say something wrong? Hugs? Kevin. <laughs> Morgan, take it easy, take it easy. His cooperation, we just want to ask him a few questions. Principal of a school doing hooking up with a 14-year-old boy. Principal! Let's go. Put him in here. I swear to fucking okay. God. Katie, social services is picking up Kevin at the Alexandria field office, and I'll be back as soon as I can. You okay? Yeah, I, uh... Hodge, you already got him? I told you to stay out of the field. Yeah, I know, but Reed said that you wanted us well, here. No, I so didn't. Yes, you did. The school district has given us permission to search Rawlings' office. I'm on it. Nice one. I kind of like Reed's hair. Principal of a school. As much access to children as possible. Growing up guide for parents. He's got a library of child psychology. He's got a doctorate in it. Well-prepared pedophile. Hell, you notice anything missing? Computer. Family man. So if he does have Peter, he's not keeping him at home. Hell, this one's locked. Did maybe he he's maybe he's there in the school. Did they teach you that in FBI school? No, they taught me that in Brooklyn. I wish you would inform me what exactly I'm being charged with. I haven't done anything. Do you know you're in trouble here? I believe I just walked outside my school. Is that a crime now? You know where he is? How could anyone hurt something so... Over. You sent this image to Kevin. Well, that was wrong, I know, but I, I was so shocked. I wanted to try to save this poor boy. I thought Hugs might know him. That's why I sent him the link to the website, see if he knew. Please. You were trying to save him? Help search his office. I got this. How were you going to save Peter? Peter? Is that his name? I wanted to save them both. Kevin, too. Sit down. Tell me we got something we can nail this son of a bitch on. Not unless we can break the password on this guy's computer. Come on, genius. Do something genius like. If this guy does have child pornography on his computer and we type in the wrong password, it could trigger a virus that wipes the entire hard drive. What's he saying out there? He's a preferential pedophile who claims he's trying to save him. Save him? Oh. Could you get any closer? I can, but it'll distort the image even more. The edge of his badge looks like it says mount something. There are four unit designations all starting with Mount. Mount Pleasant, Virginia. 3446, that's it, right? Yeah, 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 good one. Mr. Rawlings, have a seat. Your laptop. He's gonna... Yeah, it's Morgan. Okay, hold on, Garcia, hold on. He's gonna put a code this in. This is uh, research. I'm writing a book. Sit down. Oh, they got in? Ew. Wah. I swear to you, this is all just research. That's a hundred years in a federal penitentiary. I'd like to make a deal. No deals. All you have is a very, very small amount of goodwill. Tell me about Peter. I was contacted by the man who's holding him. I, I didn't go looking for this. Give me a name. Well, I only know the screen name. It's Manchild. But you bid on Peter. How much? $8,000. But it was only in order to save him. You the high bidder? I, I think so, yes. I'm supposed to go back online and contact him on his website. And I am trying to You're save trying him. Trying to save him. He'd have oh, given you a code. Shit. What is it? I have children of my own. I love children. I would never harm them. In your pursuit to save them, you think you could have avoided having sex with them? Mr. Rollins, the code. Fucking dirtball. Butterfly. Hey! When can I come out and being a good boy? Shut up. FBI's crimes against children unit and targeting what may be one of the largest pedophile rings this country has ever seen. Shit. Hello, Agent Cole. What happened? I don't know. He broke off contact. Fuck! <gasps> the entire feed just went dark. Get Hotch on the phone. We got reporters outside of the school. This thing is all over the news. That's why the site went down, he knows. How are you gonna fucking find him? She's sure about this, right? If Garcia says that tadpole shirt came from a unit in Mount Pleasant, then I gotta believe her. If the unsub knows that we're on to him, he may move that clock up. Think this guy's gonna panic? Depends on his comfort level. Maybe getting close to auction time, he can wait it out. No one thing, I can't lose Peter again. Well, let's just hope JJ bought us some time. It's absolutely all right that you broadcast this. We have to bluff this kid's captor into believing that we're in another locale. Uh, the kid's life depends on it. Say the Crimes Against Children Unit is searching for a boy being held captive in Virginia. Look, we need you to get this on the air immediately. The FBI has informed us that they are looking for a missing seven-year-old child. Now, this child is believed to be somewhere within the Alexandria area right now. Boy is described as approximately three feet tall. 
change. It's back. Uh, we got a backup hot. We got an hour till the auction closes. Site went dark for a few minutes and then came back online. So he believes the story JJ fed to the media. But we've only got an hour left. When we get to Mount Pleasant, Ellen Morgan out, should go to man. the church. We'll take the school. Peter may be registered there. That sounds good. I gave up on him. Hour? A year ago, I gave up on looking for him. There were so many other kids. You ever ask yourself how you make a decision like that? How do you give yourself that kind of permission? What's happened to that boy in the year I stopped looking for him? You recognize him? I can't say that I do. But you're certain that the shirt came from this unit of the tadpoles, right? It disbanded six months ago, before I took over the congregation. Why? Only a few boys participated. Do you have the records of those who did participate? How could anyone do this to a child? We need to find this boy. The records. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Wait. There may be a photo of the tadpoles. Probably their fucking, his leader. This boy is in a terrible state. He said his appearance may have been altered. First or second grade student. Let me check my records. This may be what you're looking for. Yeah, that's him right there. Is there a name? Uh, as I said, there are no records left. Let me see that. His name's Charlie. This is everyone who registered for the second grade. Were there any first graders who didn't register for second grade? I imagine there were some transfers. Yes, there were two transfers. Ashley Waters and Charlie Sparks. Does it say where Charlie's records went? His father picked them up. Can you describe the father? I have no idea. The end of Thank the school you. year here is so very hectic. The name the school has is Charlie Sparks. Garcia can't even find a Sparks within 100 miles for the last 10 years. The school said he may have moved away. I don't have a lot of time left. Guys. Maybe we're looking at this the wrong way. The behavior, it's odd. The unsub apparently listed this kid in school in the tadpoles until about a year ago. He had pictures of him online in a regular looking room, but now he's in a prison-like room with no windows, no doors. So what happened a year ago to make him change his behavior so much? Fear. Kitty almost caught him. Probably talked to him. Unsub's in your records. Oh my fucking God. What's gonna happen when the time runs out? Guys, we just ran out of time. What's that bead? Literally yeah. built the room around us. Did he say I dad? Really had a good suspect. One of them was the right guy. Amanda, hey, uh, I need you to pull all of the original files on Peter's case. I need the names of everyone I interviewed. Have her call Penelope Garcia at the BAU. You got it? Thanks. Fuck it, stress. You still there? Yeah. Uh. Oh, 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 got it, got it, got it, got it. Frank Portwell, DOB, 11 April 1962. Doing 12 years in Westover Prison. Michael Earlson, DOB, 16 January 64. Garcia, you sure? Okay, no, 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 I got it all. All right, thanks, baby. You're the best. Thanks, baby. All right, baby. guys, listen up. We might have something. One lives in California, and two have last known addresses within 10 minutes of us. Patrick Forrest and a Michael Earlson. Patrick Forrest isn't smart enough to put this all together. What about Michael Earlson? Definitely. Check the fuck. You about to get got, motherfucker. Shoot him! Shoot him! Where you go? Do something! Yeah, fuck him up! Don't move! Sick fuck! Oh god! Daddy! It's okay. Daddy! You're safe now. I've got you. Where's Daddy? I know. Peter's real name is Dustin Powers. Abducted him in Newark, New Jersey when he was one. Sometimes it seems there's no punishment enough. One. JJ traced his mother. She's on her way. You know, Kitty, no one's ever done the job you're doing as long as you've been doing it. I know. Fucking smug son of a bitch. Maybe it's time to get out. I don't know if I can anymore. I just can't thank you all enough. Remember what I told you. He doesn't know who you are, you can... Say hello, but don't say anything about being his mother. That'll just scare him. It's going to be a long process. I understand. What's his name? His name's Jack. He's a soldier. He protects me. It's nice to meet you, Jack. My name is Jackie. Really? Really. Can I see Jack? Be careful. <sighs> Her name was Jackie.
Why y'all gotta get me crying? Oh my god. <sighs> she was watching over him all that time. In a way. Or she was gonna come into his life again man that was that episode was so good but like it sends me into a rage where like when i when stuff like that with like kids or like older people like people just who are like helpless and can't do anything like our most vulnerable you know citizens people it just it sends me into a rage and i like either freak like get so enraged and angry or like i shut down like i just like because I just, I, it fucking just, it wrecks me. It wrecks my brain. It's disgusting. <sighs> Let me know what y'all thought about this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.